वेलकम टू ची वाई एस हाउ आई यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल सो फ्रेंड्स एज यू नो दैट ऑन आर चैनल वी आर कवरिंग द सिलेबस ऑफ यू पी एस सी सिविल सर्विसेज एंड फॉर दैट पर्पज वी हैव स्टार्टड डिफरेंट सीरीज दैट आर प्रिलिम्स एज वेल एज मेन्स ओरिएंटेड सो करंटली वी हैव सिक्स सीरीज दैट आर प्रिलिम्स ओरिएंटेड एंड वन सीरीज दैट इज मेन्स ओरिएंटेड सो बेसिकली वट वी डू इन दिस सीरीज इन प्रिलिम्स ओरिएंटेड सीरीज we cover daily five questions of each topic <clears throat> so for example of ancient india we are on the lecture number 18 and uh, what we do what we will do in this lecture we will cover five questions so in this manner six topics are covered daily so if you multiply six topics with five questions so daily 30 questions will be co uh, are covered so we will continue to cover these questions till 31st may so why the date chosen has been 31st may because on 2nd june is your prelims of upsc csc and we will end this series only one day before your prelims exam so let's start our discussion fr uh, friends so if you approximately go um, and before starting discussion friends if you go, go by approximate calculation then nearly 1000 topics of each 1000 co questions of each topic will be covered so they will not just be 1000 questions they will be 4000 concepts because you know the up the, the that the upsc is not just about uh, reading a question and uh, and seeing its solution it is also about reading the explanation that why a particular answer is correct and why the other options are incorrect so in this way you will be covering 4000 concepts of each each topic that we have started on our, on our channel so let's start our discussion the first question is relating to consider the following pairs so here we have been given the mahajanpadas and their capital so we have to match them and check whether we have to check that whether they are matched correctly or not and which of the following are correctly matched so first is vajji it is matched with vishali second is shedi it is matched with putana third is asmakka it is ma uh, matched with shuktimati so let me tell you friends that only first is correct that is vajji that is uh, it, it its capital was vishali regarding the second and third friends let me tell you that they have been interchanged the the, the capital of shedi Uh, was shukti mati and of asmakka was putana so the correct answer is only one statement first statement so the uh, the op op correct option is a that is one only so let's move on to the explanation so solution is a so vajji was basically it was a confederation of eight republican republican clans situated to the north of river ganga in bihar with its capital vishali so pair one is correct and chedi friends it is it is in it is it 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 is it was in the modern bundelkhand area that is that is part of southern southern up and northern madhya pradesh and it it had the capital shuktimati so second second is incorrect <coughs> so uh, regarding third asmakka friends this is also incorrect it was basically between the narmada and the godavari rivers and its capital was patana so third pair is also incorrect so this is all about your first question let's move on to the second question uh, second question is relating to hadappan valley civilization the people of indus valley civilization so here we have been asked that which of the following fashion accessories were used by these people so first is earrings second is necklace third is lipstick fourth is face powder fifth is eyeliner so we have to choose the correct option giving uh, correct uh, correct options by by considering these these five uh, cos cos uh, things of cosmetics so let me tell you friends that all these things were used by harappan people as is revealed by archaeological evidence however certain degree of uh, degree of uh, kind of ambiguity remains but but historians are uh, uh, historians uh, majority of the historians have come to this conclusion that they uh, that the harappan people used all these kinds of uh, cosmetics and beauty products and uh, as well as uh, uh, these ornaments so the correct option is d so we, uh, so how they how they how they used it and what were uh, what were the things of which they were made so that are important for you people so so it, you must read the explanation of them so the solution here is d and the explanation is provided in the explanation pdf which i will provide to you uh, in later on about which i will provide the details later on in the coming presentation so let's move on to the third question third question is, is which of the following buddhist doctrines was taught was or were 
taught in the nalanda university so friends you might have might have heard about nalanda university it was a famous university and people from uh, south asia and different regions of south asia southeast asia came to came to study here and uh, and, uh, and 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 the end at the entry of uh, this nalanda university uh, the examination was conducted and the student who who passed that test that was only conducted into the nalanda university uh, that was who uh, that person was given the uh, the admission only so friends we have been we are to we we have been asked here that which 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 of the following buddhist doctrines were taught there so friends first is theravada second is mahayana third is vajrayana so we have to choose the correct option so let me tell you friends that all these schools of buddhism were taught there in nalanda university so theravada school that is that that basically inspired that draws inspiration from three pitaka uh it the, it was also taught taught there uh, and mahayana school of buddhism was also taught which basically which basically uh, uh, doesn't believe in the later interpretations and only believes in the in the original buddhist uh, original buddhist teachings and the vajrayana school was also taught there and vajrayana school is basically a ta- tantric school of thought in the <coughs> in the in the <coughs> buddhism so friends all these were taught there so the correct option is d that is 1 2 and 3 so the solution is d and the explanation is provided in explanation pdf so let's move on to the fourth question fourth question is consider the following statements regarding the position of women in the gupta age so we have to consider the position of women the, the, the statements regarding the position of women in the gupta age the first is arsa and asura forms of marriage became popular second is widows could not marry again third women had no right to real property so friends uh, here we have uh, been we have to consider that which of the following statement is correct so let me tell you friends that in the gupta age uh, the the position of a woman uh, in general declined so friends uh, the, the basically this these the first that, that is arsa and asura form of marriage became popular it was basically a marriage in which bride was also paid with a price so so first is pr- also correct regarding second yes the when uh, earlier the widows used to remarry again so but now the uh, in the gupta age this practice uh, the, the the widow uh, could not marry again so this practice was, was was also observed and also the first symbolic sati happened during the gupta age period so third third statement is also correct that women had no right to real property so all the statements are correct that is d 1 2 and 3 so the correct option is d so the solution is d so friends uh, uh, those who say that the gupta age was the golden age of ancient india so you can see that what was there was that a really golden age so these are just myths they are nothing else so they are the myths created by british people to divide and rule they they generally said that uh, that during the ancient period the hindus were on rise they were they were they were they were they were they were, they were uh, achieving excellence in every field but during medieval times when muslim rulers came the, the they, they they witnessed decline so there is no such case there they, there is uh, it is basically a colonial historiography to just divide and rule so you can we can't even think from where the british started the policy of divide and rule it was from the historiography itself that is the art of history writing so they purposely wrote that during the uh, during the ancient time the hindus were on rise and during medieval times forcible conversions took place friends if the forcible conversions were if, uh, how could have to taken place then tell me why why was pakistan created even the, even the migra- even the migrants that were from that were from Dil- even even the people migrated from delhi region to to pakistan muslims migrated from delhi region so you you can see that the king is most powerful in in his in his capital so obviously the most number of conversions if they were followed then they were they would have been certainly followed in Del- new delhi because delhi because it was the main political center of mughal empire or for example or, or for that matter sultanate so if the muslims are migrate migrating from there towards pakistan during the partition of india uh, that then then you can imagine that muslims were in were minority were in minority even in delhi itself so these are just myths these are just politics th- these are just politics interests please please don't believe in such theories that th- these things happened if you have history optional you will have more great detailed idea about this thing so the our this correct option is d so the explanation is provided in the explanation pdf so let's move on to the fifth question with reference to the history of ancient south india consider the following statements regarding pandya kingdom 
so friends uh, we have to consider the here the statements regarding the ancient south india so you know that during the ancient south india th there were three main kingdoms uh, in south india that is chola siras and pandyas so pandyas were in the extreme south and cholas were above them in the kaveri delta region and and the uh, chiras were in the western coast that is malabar malabar region so uh, we have to consider the statements first is the pandyas occupied the delta of the kaveri river and the adjoining region Second is under the Pandyas, the capital Madurai and port city Korkai were great centers of trade and commerce. Third is Pandyan king sent, sent embassies to the Roman emperor. So let me tell you friends that the first statement is incorrect. As I have already told you that, that the Kaveri region, the delta of Kaveri river was under the Cholas and it was not under the Pandyas. So the first statement is incorrect. But yes, second statement is correct that Pandyas had the capital at Madurai and in, and they also had the port city of Korkai the, the, in, the, uh, the, which were great centers of trade and commerce. Regarding the third statement that Pandyan king sent embassies to the Roman emperor, that, that is true because they had great trade and commerce with the Roman empire. So the, the Roman emperor, the, these Pandyan kings sent embassies to two Roman emperors that is Augustus and, and Trojan. So, so only second and third statement is correct. So the correct option is C. That is uh, C. A solution is C, and the explanation is provided in explanation PDF. So this is the last question of your ancient India. So now let's come to what is the now let's come to the topic that what is explanation PDF. So friends, we have provided you people the explanation of only one question that is first. Earlier, what we used to do, we provided the explanation of every question. But later, later on. Uh, for the purpose of our motivation, we felt that if we are putting lot of efforts, then certainly, uh, we, then we we as a, as a, if we are doing hard work, then we also deserve something. And also, our paid subscribers have said that please introduce a change in in this policy. That is, there must be a kind of difference between paid and free subscribers. So that for that matter, we we have included this change so that if you want to get the explanation, then you will have to subscribe to our, our paid initiative. So these explanation PDFs, they are just uh, they are, we are charging minimum amount for them. For for example, friends, uh, let let me consider that today is the lecture number eighteen of ancient India. So friends, eighteen eighteenth lecture we have already uh, we are covering five lecture. So if you multiply it with the eighteen, so five eight forty. So five one nine already ninety questions have been covered, and in five months approximately you can see that approximately nine hundred questions will be covered. So nearly you will be you will be getting thousand questions. And these, as I have told you earlier, that these are not just questions. These are the these are four thousand concepts because in these explanations it is tell, told that why a particular option is correct and why others are not why others are not correct and in which context they are correct. So in this way, your revision also takes place. So we are charging a minimum amount of uh, of uh, a very minimum amount of rupees hundred. So by paying rupees hundred. Uh, this is a single time payment you will get all the explanation pdfs of ancient india that is the, uh, all the pdfs that we have covered and all the lectures that we are going to cover till 31st may you will get them in just a minimum amount of rupees 100 so we are just we have kept this charges for the purpose of our motivation because friends only motivation helps persons to maintain consistency if i am working here for free and i am not getting any income then certainly i will not be consistent so for the purpose of our motivation we have kept this minimum fee and it, it is affordable for you people also because you will be getting nearly 1000 questions or 4000 concepts in just rupees 100 by making a single time payment so we have friends other series also so let me tell you explain the other series we have environment series we have ancient series we have medieval modern and similarly geography and polity series so these are the respective cost of these explanation pdfs so they are just single time payments they they you don't need to have no need to send again and again for each pdf the the cost it is basically a combined cost so if you are paying rupees 50 for environment then you will get all the pdfs that we are covering on all the lectures that we are covering on on, on the youtube though you will get the explanation pdfs of all those lectures so friends uh, if you want to subscribe to them in a package format then then the total amounts to 950 but for the complete package if you want to subscribe to them then then we are offering you a few people a discount of rupees 150 that is you can get the complete package in rupees 800 so if you want to subscribe to them you can whatsapp us at this number 8968426481 so this is our whatsapp number so if you want to subscribe to them you can whatsapp us at this number 
So friends, why it is important? To, I have already told you that because because at the because at the end of the day, friends, you will not be able to see uh, 20 to 30 minute long videos, and also you will not be able to revise the uh, revise the standard books because at that time time will not allow you people to read uh, revise NCRTs or for that matter standard books or for that matter newspaper because at that time already other things will also will, will also be there for you people to study. For example, economic survey, Indian India yearbook in. Uh, the budget and also there there will be a lot of issues that that will that, that will have to be studied so that the, if you, it also becomes friends monotonous and boring when you read same book again and again so at the most you can read standard books for two or three times after that they become boring so question answer format is the best on best format in which you do revision you what what you do what you do you see a question you go for its answer and if it is wrong then you go for explanation so in this way your revision takes place and when you revise the concepts concepts properly then you will see then you will then 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 you feel comfort confident and comfortable because you you feel that you are going on the right right track so that for that purpose it is important to for to subscribe for these explanation pdf so if you want to subscribe you can whatsapp us lastly friends let me tell you that we have a telegram channel also the link of which i have provided in the description box so if you want to join a telegram channel then please check the link in the description box so friends let me tell you that uh, for those students who do, don't know how to join the telegram channel that there is an app called e sandesh it is an official app of telegram and uh, you can download it it is totally free of cost and away and it is available on app store as well as google play store when you will download it you will see here a search box which i have encircled so what you will have to do you will have to copy and paste the link here of my channel and you in this way you will get to my channel and can join it and in this way you can remain stay tuned with us so friends this is all about today's lecture if you have any suggestion please tell me please share this video if you liked it please please like it please comment if you have any suggestion i will certainly consider it and plans please friends do subscribe to our channel and do not forget to press the bell icon and because only then you will get the all the important notifications that we that we that we uh, the, that we do on on the youtube regarding the regarding the cse 2019 thank you friends